Disclaimer. This video was made before the existence of Lumuria. Thank you. Mounts in Wizard 101 are known for being the absolute best mode of transportation in the game. Not only are they fast, but they can also look really, really cool. There's a large variety of mounts in a game, including flying horses, giant bats, and honestly, whatever this thing is. According to the Wikipedia, there are roughly 340 mounts in the entire game. Out of the mounts, roughly 100 of them can be obtained without spending any coins on the game. Meaning a little bit over 30% of the mounts in the entire existence of Wizard 101 can be obtained without packs, without bundles, without any type of currency whatsoever. By the way, if at the end of this video you enjoyed, make sure you follow me at my socials, especially my Twitch channel, where I tap into my inner weirdness, if you know what I mean. Also, make sure you hit that like button, which helps out with the algorithm, makes more people aware of this video, and subscribe if you haven't already we're in a race against old snap some of you guys might have heard of him uh he's a great wizard 101 youtuber so check him out if you haven't already but we're in a race against that guy so make sure you guys show some support and subscribe if you haven't already and yeah i appreciate it let's get into the video this video will be broken down into two parts, mainly because out of all the free mounts of Wizard 101, a large majority of them are dropped in dungeons that require a skeleton key. So, in the first part of this video, we'll go over all the key dungeons that drop mounts, and in the second part, we'll go over non-key dungeon dropped mounts. The top three worlds via skeleton key dungeons where you can receive a mount will be Azteca, Polaris, in Croctopia. I'm also going to leave a little small shout out for Caramel at the end of this part. You can also get some mounts there, but the main three worlds outshine Caramel, so I will be covering them first. Let's start with the wooden key boss in Croctopia. Croctopia is home to a boss named Ra. Ra is located in Ra's reading room of the Oasis in Croctopia. Ra is a balanced boss with 3000 health who can be defeated pretty easily. Ra does have a few cheats, but none of them uh, you need to be worried about. If you're a max wizard, you'll be in and out of this battle fast, give or take uh, two or three rounds. I also do not have every single mount, so for the mounts I do not have, I will be just showing a picture from Google. Ra drops a grand total of seven permanent mounts. Those mounts being the Sunshine Pony, the Starshine Pony, the Starlight Pony, the Moonlight Pony, the Mander Pelican, I did not say that right. The Crocagator and the Camel. All of these mounts can be farmed from Raw. Each of them looks cool and looks amazing in any stitch. Next, let's cover Azteca. Azteca is home to a boss called Ajax Cursed Wing. I did not say that right at all. Ajax is a stone key boss located in the Eterial Sanctum of Three Points in Azteca. He's a storm boss with 20,000 health. I definitely recommend doing this boss with a team, even if you're max level. This boss does have a faint cheat that you're gonna have to watch out for, so keep that in mind. Do not go in here blind. With an efficient strategy, you'll be in and out of this battle in less than five rounds. I've done this boss myself, and you definitely do not want to take this guy lightly. This boss drops a grand total of eight mounts, which are all dinosaur themed, which is pretty good if that's what you're looking for. These mounts being the Ankylosaurus, the Arcus Cloud, the Crocker Gator, again, the Feathered Raptor, the Gold Rot Eagle, the Drooled Scarab, the Triceratops, and the T-Rex. This mount's huge. If you're looking for a prehistoric themed mount, then this boss will be definitely perfect for you. He drops a bunch of different dinosaurs, a gator, a bird, and, and some other stuff, you know? Next, in my favorite, we will cover the Golden Key boss of Polaris, or Polaris, as I like to say it. His name is Omen String Bean, or Streebog, but I call him String Bean. Omen String Bean is located in Omen's hideout of River of the Frozen Tears inside of Polaris. Omen is a Shadow School boss with 32,000 health. You're 100% gonna want a team when you're dealing with the guy 1 billion percent do not go in here solo you will not make it out alive this is a very popular boss not only because of the mounts that he drops but the deck that he drops the gear that he drops just 100 percent is a really really good boss so usually if you're going to go for this guy you can just go to the team up kiosk find it easily and everyone there already knows the strategy to beat him so you should be straight but just for safe precautions i recommend looking him up just so you can go in there prepared mr string ming drops a total of eight mounts all those mounts being 
the winter glide skates, the winter trent, the white stag, the snow ram, the owl, the lufilium wings, didn't say that right, the himilugayan yak, didn't say that right either, and the frost fang tiger. There you have it. The three main worlds to farm for if you're looking for some of the best looking free mounts in all of Wizard 101. Also, I don't think it's a coincidence that the difficulty of bosses and key rarity rolls with level considering you have Croctopia, Azteca, and then Polaris. This might be a long shot. However, our last key boss that was golden that we got and technically was Caramel, but look at Polaris. It's also a golden key boss. So there might be a new key coming out. Maybe like a platinum key or something for level 150's key boss inside of Lemuria, you know? You never know what Chaos has planned. Now it's time for our honorable mention of Caramel. Caramel is home to a boss named Stuff Puff Marshfellow. Stay Puffs is located in the Marshmallow Critter of Nibelheim Mines. I'm, I'm having a really hard time reading this. Inside of Caramel, Mr. Marshfellow is a shadow and fire boss with 51,000 health and I've never done this boss before, but considering its stats, it sounds like it's a bigger threat than Omen String Bean. So if you're going in here, definitely look him up. Definitely look up his cheats and good luck. You have been warned. This boss drops four different mounts. The first being the casual gummy bunny, the fancy gummy bunny, the formal gummy bunny, and the chocolate mousse. A lot of sweets as a mount is pretty sweet, right? Okay, I'll stop. Of all jokes aside, each and every last one of these worlds is great and can provide you with a wide range of mounts for your choosing. The snow mounts, the dino mounts, the even desert mounts, and of course, the gummy mounts. With three of the main worlds out of the way, what if you don't have any keys and you still want a permanent mount and you still want options? Well, to be honest, you don't have a lot of options, but you do got options. Option one is located in Wizard City. His name is Lord Nightshade, more precisely located in the Storm Drain Tower of the Haunted Cave in Wizard City. The mount that Lord Nightshade drops is called the Storm Rider Hair. Disclaimer! In the middle of editing this video, I realized that the Storm Rider Hair is only dropped during the Easter event. So you cannot get this mount unless it is during Easter time. I apologize. It's actually a really cool looking mount. It's like a bunny that has like different shades of colors. It's, it's, it's really cool. It could definitely spice up any stitch that you're looking for. Next, we're going back to Polaris to a boss that is named Warlord Minute or Minak. <laughs> definitely said that wrong. This guy actually drops the best mount for healing wizards called the Mammoth Mini. It's a mount that has an outgoing stats built into it. And also, I believe it's the only mount in the entire game that has an outgoing stat on it. So if you're a healer, wizard out there maybe a jade healing wizard life death whatever you might want to get this mount just to boost up your stats a little bit more now do keep in mind that all of these mounts are dropped and are permanent all of these are permanent every last one of them this list does not include crafted fished or guarded mounts those will be separate videos that we'll be making so stay tuned for that if you think i miss any mounts let me know down in the comments and don't forget to, to comment your favorite mount from the list lastly of course Thank you for watching. You guys are amazing, Mwah. awesome, and beautiful people. Also, thank you for leaving a like on the video, because I already know you did it. Yep, 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 yep. I, I already knew. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great, blessed, and beautiful day. Peace out, everyone.